Hey folks, Derek Pierce here from TrafficDiesel.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can start a blog in under five minutes. Now, before we get started, here's what you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need a domain name and I recommend going to just uh, a GoDaddy to register your domain name. And then the second thing that you're going to need is your hosting. This is what's going to allow you to publish your site to the World Wide Web. And the service that I recommend if you're just getting started is none other than HostGator. And I'll put some links below the video so you can check those out. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, I'm about to show you how to set everything up. You don't have to have any kind of technical know-how, just follow along in the instructions that I'm gonna give you here and you'll be up and running with your very own website in less than five minutes. Now, we're assuming a couple of things. We're assuming that you've already bought a domain name and we're already assuming that you've bought your hosting. So to start off with, I recommend that you buy your domain name and you can do that by going to godaddy.com as I've done in this case here, I've already bought this domain name. This is something that I've actually had for uh, quite a while and uh, I just haven't done anything with it. So I thought I would just use this in this example. The domain name is dietogetripped.org. Now, if you're buying something for uh, a site to, that you're trying to rank for, then I always try to get a .com, a .net, or .org. If you're looking um, for something that you're wanting to you know, brand, then obviously you wanna try to get something with a .com in it. So anyway, uh, we're looking here at this uh, domain name. This is the main domain details control panel. And before we do anything here, we've got to get our web hosting set up. And what the web hosting allows us to do, this is what allows us to publish our website to the world. And so what I recommend using is HostGator. This is one of the first web hosts that I ever used. And it's hands down one of the easiest and one of the best in customer service. I'll put a link below the video uh, so you could check it out. But the plans start very reasonable. You can get started at like less than four bucks a month. Not expensive at all to get something set up. And if you're just starting out, then a uh, shared hosting plan that they offer, one of these lower price ones, is perfectly fine. You don't have to do anything you know, real extravagant on that or whatever. You can always upgrade your package if you need to. So once you, uh, once you get this, once you buy your hosting, then uh, they're gonna send you an email and it's gonna have uh, some, some uh, your information as far as like your, um, your details of your username and password and all that stuff. And it's also going to have your name servers and it's gonna list these in your email and it's gonna tell you that this is where you wanna point your domain name and it's got NS1 and it'll be like somedomain.com, NS2 somedomain.com, okay? So this is the information that you're gonna need is these two name servers that GoDaddy's gonna send you. So what you do is then you go over here to your domain manager and this is the, where your control panel is for this domain details and for this specific domain, in this case it's dot2getrip.org and you just, once you click on that, you're gonna see down here where you've got name servers set up. So you've got, you'll see mine is saying ns1.dreambiggroup.com and ns2 dot dreambiggroup.com. What you do is you just click set name servers and you're going to enter in what uh, HostGator just sent you, okay? So you're going to enter in whatever the in, your name servers are. They're going to be different from what mine are. So this ns1 dot some domain, whatever that is, this is where you want to enter it. So you just copy that from your email and you paste it in here and then you click OK. Now I've already done that so we will already have this done. So we've got our name server set up at this point. Now all we have to do is go to our, our, uh, our login, our web host manager that uh, HostGator has given us login to, and we need to add our domain name and our features to it. So let me, uh, let me do that and we'll be right back. Now, if this is a domain name that is the only domain that you've got on this, on this web host, uh, then you're not going to have to create an account. But if you've got multiple domains on here, I wanted to just kind of walk you through showing you how to create a new account. So uh, let's say we've, you know, we've got, you know, five domains on this particular account. Then uh, this is what we'll need to do. We'll just need to go here on the left-hand side and we'll click create a new account. And then we just type in the domain name. So in this case, it's uh, diet to get ripped org and I'm gonna enter in a password. And then I'm going to enter in an email address. So then I've got uh, these packages. I'm gonna just set up these packages that I, that I have 
uh, pre-configured and then what we do is we go down here and we just click create account so the, yours may look a little different because mine is a, a, a actual a VPS server you don't need that if you're just starting out you can uh, set this up uh, on one of the shared accounts so once we have this you'll see our information is here with our username password as well as our name servers so now let's go to our domain name and let's see it what it looks like so I'll open up a new tab and I'm just gonna paste this in you'll see something like this now this could take you know 24 hours for this to look this way so if you you know if you plug this into your um, to your domain manager in, in uh, GoDaddy and then you add your hosting details it could take 24 hours for these to populate and for them to find each other but once they do this is what the screen is going to look like it's just going to be a blank white screen with this right here so now what we got to do is we got to install WordPress which is going to be our blog platform which by the way Google absolutely loves WordPress so anyway I'm going to go now to the uh, next screen and show you how to install WordPress All right, so we are here at our web host. Uh, this is HostGator, and uh, if you just got the one domain again, you won't see all these, you know, these this list of domains here. But when you're here at the web host manager, you'll see you got this little. Uh, this is a cPanel icon. So what you can do is you can just click right here, and this will take you to your cPanel. Now, if you ever want to get to this uh, cPanel again, in this case, like all you have to do is go to uh, you know diet to get ripped.org in, in your case whatever your domain is and then just type in cPanel and it's gonna ask you for your username and your password and that that will be where you enter that so I'm gonna do that now so we're not logged into the uh, the main root password so give me just a second alright so we are logged in here and what we're gonna look at under cPanel is we're gonna look for either uh, Fantastico or we're gonna look for quick install I typically use quick install so we're just gonna click that right here and what we're gonna do is we are we'll see all these these installation possibilities for our site so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on WordPress WordPress is a, uh, a free blogging platform it's the best hands down you can do so much more with it with cut by customizing it with themes and plugins we'll get into that here in just a second so I'm gonna click continue and then we're going to just enter our information here and what we want to do is enter our email so I'm going to enter that real quick we're going to enter our blog title in this case it's going to be dot to get ripped in your case whatever your you know primary keyword that is that you're targeting or whatever you're wanting to brand your your website as this will be what would be entered here and then I'm just going to enter admin I recommend you use something else I'm just using this for simplicity uh, we could use this as a diet to get ripped the reason why you want to use this as a, a different name other than admin is because so many other people are using admin and it's easier for people to hack your WordPress blog because they already know you know one of the equations so all they got to do then is get the password right so it's recommended that you change the instead of using admin that you use something else like in this case dot to get ripped so then I'm going to enter my first name and then I'm going to enter my last name and I'm going to click install now and this is going to take it just a couple of seconds and we will be ready to roll so then you can see it's it's giving me my admin area my username and my password you want to just grab all this and just uh, save it into you know like a text file or something like that so you'll have access to it uh, so then what we do is we just click right here and we're going to enter our information and then we're going to I'm going to copy this password over right here and I'm going to click copy and paste it in there and then click login and we are in, now into our WordPress dashboard and you can see what it looks like now that we have set up our very own uh, website or blog and you can see what it looks like this is what the uh, temporary the uh, the initial install looks like and so uh, it may, may look a little bit different than this because uh, depending on what version of WordPress is installed when they when they update WordPress they tend to have a different theme so it may look a little different than this one but this is typically how it's gonna look you're gonna have the sample page you're gonna have the hello world post 
this is uh, this is how you get everything set up now all you have to do from here is customize your site and the way you customize it is through using themes and plugins so what plugins allow you to do or I'm sorry what themes allow you to do is to change the appearance so what when you install a, a theme what you can do is go right here to appearance and it's going to give you the option to install themes so you can see these two are are automatically installed with WordPress so we can click activate here and you can see this is going to change the look of the site completely just by changing the different theme okay so what you can do is you can click install themes and you can search the WordPress directory of themes so like let's say you want a, uh, a silver color white or a white color you want two columns and you know you want to try to find those themes if you just click find themes then it's going to pull up the two column sites that have silver and white in their description and when you find one that you want like let's say you like this uh, quick press right here all you have to do is just click install now and then click you can click live preview to see it to see what it looks like before you actually activate it if you like the looks of this you just click save and activate okay that's all there is to it so there th that's the uh, that's how you install the uh, the themes now I use some themes that and I'm going to show you in some future videos uh, on the blog here uh, th that's called Genesis themes and these are highly customizable and I'm going to go into detail uh, what I'm using with that because I get so many questions of everyone asking what kind of themes that I'm using and what theme I'm using here on the traffic diesel blog so uh, I'll go into more detail in a future video with that I just wanted to kind of give you the initial setup of what to do whenever you're setting your WordPress blog up initially now now that you've got the uh, you you know how to do the themes the uh, the other thing that you want to know how to do is installing plugins because without plugins this is not going to do you any good plugins are basically what gives the car gas in WordPress blog in the WordPress blog it's what allows you to have different functionality so there's all kinds of plugins that you can do I'm gonna click right here plugins there's there's some that stop spam from hitting your blog there's some that allow you to put contact forms on your blog there's some that have SEO settings <clears throat> the plugin that I use all the time is my own plugin it's called the page one plugin and it's something that I install and it, it will grab 17 of my preferred plugins uh, to install activate and then optimize all those plugins so I don't have to do all of that you know work every single time that I install a blog so I'll put a, a link below the video here too if you're interested in that plugin but essentially what this does again this just gives us more functionality to our blog it's gonna allow us to do more things to it with that being said the next thing I want to show you is uh, let, let me show you just how to install the plugin so first of all you, uh, you the, the WordPress directory is full of plugins so you could click add new and let's say you're searching for a contact form you just click search plugins you find something you like then you can just click install now and it's gonna walk you through the same uh, process that we just did with the themes you can uh, install it now and then what you do is you click activate and then this plugin is installed now if you ever want to deactivate a plugin all you got to do is go to your plugins tab right here and click deactivate and you can even delete from here too if you don't want the plugin on your WordPress site anymore you can just click delete so um, that's the plugin feature if you want to upload a plugin then from your uh, from your computer like you let's say you bought a premium plugin or a premium theme for that matter then uh, you can upload these so if you want to upload a plugin all you have to do is just go right here where instead of searching you could click upload and you just click browse and you find it off of your computer and click install now and that's all there is to it on the uh, on the themes the the appearance uh, is you can do the same thing you when you go to install themes you can click upload right here and you can upload a theme from your computer if you've bought a premium theme or something then you can click browse and you can select the theme and that that's what I'm going to show you in some of the next videos I'm going to show you the themes that I'm using and uh, we'll kind of go from there now the next setting that you want to take a look at is the tagline right here so whenever you're looking at your site 
you let's say let's open this up let's open up our tab here that we've got you'll see this title is diet to get ripped if we want to change that we do this under the general settings tab so we just click settings and we click general and we, we see our site title we can change this to whatever we want to change it to and then this tagline this is where this appears right here so just where it says just another WordPress site you can change this to something else all about diets to get you ripped okay then you can click save changes and let's refresh this and show you what this looks like now and you'll see this this uh, when we refresh it it changed it to our our current theme as well as our uh, our tagline right here so uh, this is uh, this is how you make the uh, changes in uh, WordPress the other question that I get a lot is people asking how to change the home page uh, of this so it doesn't display this hello world like you know whenever you're doing a blog you typically it will display you know all your latest blog posts right here so one of the biggest questions I get is how to how to uh, change that to where it's it's gonna just have a, a standard page so what you do is you go to general or you go to settings and then you go to uh, reading and then you click a stat you want to your front page to be displayed a latest post or a static page so all you got to do is just click a static page and then once you have published some pages all you have to do is just click which page you want so in this case sample page is already created so we click that and we click save changes and you'll see what I'm talking about here now this is not going to install this is not going to have our latest blog post but it's going to be a static page okay now to create pages then all you have to do is just go to the pages tab and you just click add new and that's all you got to do you just add a new page and the way you do that is you just enter your title here you enter your content here and then you simply click publish and that's all there is to it now you can add YouTube videos and whatnot and by clicking on this text tab you can grab the YouTube video URL uh, YouTube video embed code and you can plug it in here on this text tab the text is the HTML portion of your code the visual is the what you see is what you get editor I'm assuming most of you will probably want to be using the what you see is what you get editor but if you're hap if you're needing to use any kind of code like a embed video URL or something like that then you will need to click on this text portion of the tab so that's all you got to do is that right there okay so we got the pages when then you click publish uh, next is when you whenever you're wanting to make updates to your blog you do so by adding new post so this is the post tab and all you have to do is the same thing you just want to click add new and then you just enter your the title of your post enter your description and then you want to put it in the category whatever category you're wanting and you can add new categories by clicking right here and you can add new categories so in this case uh, we're gonna do diets to get you ripped we're gonna click add new category and then we're going to enter tags whatever our content is about I'll enter two to three tags right here now think of tags of like keywords so whatever your keywords you're targeting with this particular post then you want to enter those two to three tags right here click add when you're done click publish now typically I have more fields that are below here with my SEO settings uh, but I didn't really want to dig into that right now I'll dig into that in a future video right now I just wanted to show you the basic functionality of WordPress and mainly how to start a blog in a very short period of time so you can get up and running and start getting your content out there so anyway this is Derek Pierce and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. If you like this video, then click like, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to sign up for more uh, updates in the future. And I will uh, talk to you guys real soon.